Good play, my man. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> you won that awesome wordplay. We have Fibbage, Jackbox, Drawful. We can switch to another Jackbox. Does anyone have any? Ooh, Abyssal Lich! Cheering! A hundred bit cheers! Lice water! Ooh, I heard lice water. Okay. So we'll do lice water and then we'll jump to Fibbage afterwards. I'm gonna break the persona for a second just to say this. Uh -huh. Mm -mm. I approve. I back Lord Kuzu 110% on this. It's time for another game of Lie Swatter. <laughs> going to see seven crazy facts pulled from these fact categories. Switzerland. In folklore, Elmo is the name of a monster that eats children in Switzerland. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact no is problem, true or a lie. I got you back here. In folklore, Elmo is the name of a monster that eats children. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, that'd be kind of metal. And I'm remembering, I'm terrible at this. Of Yo Gabba Gabba. I believe he wrote an episode. Why not? He's Mark Wahlberg. The famous Wahlbergers. <laughs> Did you know his family used to have a show? About his restaurant that he has? A group of shrimp is called a cocktail. Dang. Henry Ford was a world champion yodeler. That's all I know about yodeling. I'm sure there's more. Nutmeg. Eggnog was invented to increase the sale of nutmeg. I believe it. <laughs> Conspiracy theories. Bananas. Studies show eating bananas makes women more likely to give birth to a boy. Is that true? No, there's no way. Wow, really? Mmm, eggnog. Eggnog is delicious. Prince's landlord in 2006 was NBA star Carlos Boozer. His landlord? I have no, I don't know. Damn it. The one time I don't pick true. <laughs> Boozer took Prince to court for him. And here's where everyone stands at the end of round one. Oh, damn. I'm slightly above Quebec Poggers, and I'm right below Moby Huge. <laughs> here are your new <laughs> Good name, categories. by the way. All of you guys. Paris Hilton. Ooh, Hitchcock. Hitchcock's actual head is on display at Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum. Let it be true. Aww. Stephen King owns a radio station. Hmm. Why not? He's successful. Wow, he does? He owns his own radio core. Oh, in Maine, his home state. Dozens of people have died from suffocating on their own farts. <laughs> wow. I don't even... I mean, yeah. Sure, I guess. If the circumstances arise. <laughs> That's a horrible way to go. 
The size of the CD was chosen so it could hold all of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. That can't be real. Wow. That's what I get. A CD needed to have a diameter of 12 centimeters to hold a 75 long piece. Paris Hilton centimeter sued long Rosetta piece. Stone for not making her fluent in Italian. Yeah, it sounds like something Paris Hilton would do. <laughs> Damn. Duct tape is terrible at sealing duct work. Make it degrade. Ah, okay. The Oxford English Dictionary added the word prostitute in 2009. <laughs> prostitute. I don't know. They got bootylicious. Why not prostitute? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Here are your scores. Well, I do need to go to bed before I pass out. Don't want to wake up with a headache. No problem, Kuzu. Thanks for stopping by. For Thanks again for being round, the facts will be about a big gift to King. That I appreciate is it. Kanye West tweets. Which of these are real tweets? You have yourself by Kanye a lovely West, rest of your night. Uh, enjoy your sleep, and hopefully I'll catch you my songs too. on one of the next streams, Kuzu. Mm -mm. Till then, take care. Waiting for your lord lordly style exit. Poof. I know all the words to my songs too. That, yeah, he's. Wow. I make awesome decisions in bike stores. It's Kanye West, so I have to question everything. <laughs> no problem. Y'all have an amazing night. Dude. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> He tweeted that on, wow, September 18, 2010, after making an awesome and, of course, lordly style exit. With this at me, LOL. <laughs> yeah, that's a gold star. For an exit of that caliber and lordliness, you get a gold star. Marble Minotaur. <laughs> Greed. <laughs> Man, whatever happened to my antique fish tank? God, it's horrible. Horrible at this in general. <laughs> but, you take care, Kuzu. <laughs> Her pillows are hard to actually sleep on. I just, I don't even, I don't even know anymore. As I'm off this jet, I'm a rent. We bought a zoo on Redbox. <laughs> and this is the man that married one of the Kardashians and had a child? Two childs? How many childs? I don't know. Suede boxers are super fresh till you go on stage. LOL, hashtag hot outside. Hmm. Good job, Milna TV. Let's see the final scores. Ooh, I moved up. I'm slightly above Moby Huge. <laughs> it's time for another game of Lie Swatter. <laughs> You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from these fact categories. Ooh, Nicole Kidman. 
Salutes. Mikhail Gorbachev would go in for a handshake, then pull back to comb his hair. <laughs> I don't know. Gorbachev do something like that? Is that where we got that from in the 90s? Gorbachev started it? Tony Danza and Liza Minnelli used to watch 24 together. I believe it. Tony Danza, Yo Angela, who's the boss? <laughs> They talked about it on Dance's daytime talk show. He had a talk show? An Asian species of catfish can crawl on land from one lake to another. Hmm. Catfish that can crawl on land? I don't believe it. I should, because it's true. It's appropriately named the walking catfish. <laughs> George Washington has the longest you taking notes of this village. George Washington has the longest. Does he? No. I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> 21 feet long? Alright. Nicole Kidman's twin sister is your nude body double. <laughs> that is so weird. She, that, that's a lie. Steve Irwin was arrested for smuggling five baby koalas under his coat at LAX. Ah, I miss the crocodile hunter. Maybe he was trying to save the baby koalas. I think it's true. <laughs> Ancient Egyptians swam in swimsuits that covered everything but their genitals. I don't know. They were the ancient Egyptians for a reason. If only they covered their genitals. Every time they went for a swam. <laughs> and here's where everyone stands at the end of round one. Oh, I'm in third place now. Here are your new fact categories. Cats, kiwi fruit, candy. Cats taste mostly with their whiskers. Can't be true. It's like, how is that even physically possible? The vagina was invented in 1689. <laughs> the vagina wasn't. Okay. <laughs> if it was 1669, maybe I would have wanted that to be true. <laughs> A mass text message sent to that Google good. employees registered on the Richter scale. A mass text message is sent to Google employees? No, Richter scale is only for what? Earthquakes, right? I like I'm probably giving everyone the answer. <laughs> Ryan Adams releases music under the pseudonym Sleazy Handshake. I like it. Why not? That's what I do. Keep it sleazy. Workaholics reference. Yeah! <laughs> Finally, I got one. He also goes by... What, what was that? Rudolph? Kiwis grow underground. I should know this. Ego. Yeah. Some turtles taste like black licorice. I don't know. 
Ooh, good job of Mr. Lich. In the 1970s, Bhutan issued stamps that could be played as phonograph records. How would you get a stamp to play? You'd have to be one badass stamp. Why would you use them if they could do that? In fact, why even make them in stamp form? True? They played the national anthem. Ah. Oh, there the you go. Scores. Damn, I dropped. <laughs> Good job, Abyssal Edge. Dang. Climbing the leaderboards. In the final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, so you know which of these Thanksgiving facts are true and which are lies. Thanksgiving didn't become an official holiday until Abraham Lincoln decreed it. I don't know. Maybe? But perhaps not. Really? 1863. Interesting. Andre the Giant has the record for the biggest hand-drawn Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> That's so crazy, you gotta believe it. I want to believe. No. Oh. Jingle Bells was originally written as a Thanksgiving song. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Rock. Even that's the wrong one. Wow. Sunday school teacher written by. Her. Huh. Thanksgiving lands on a Tuesday every 14 years. Really now? <laughs> Lie. I feel like everyone got it right. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade had a giant inflatable Donald Trump in 2007. In, uh, I don't know. Seems like something he'd do. Why wouldn't Trump make a giant float of himself in 2007? Pornocopia 7, still giving thanks, is the highest grossing Thanksgiving themed porn. <laughs> Pornocopia 7, still giving thanks. Please let this be true. <laughs> wow. Still giving thanks. The fact that they got all the way up to 7. <laughs> uh. The US president pardons a turkey every Thanksgiving. I feel like I would know this one. Damn. Over 20 turkeys have been parked. Interesting. Oh, nice. Let's see the final scores. <gasps> Mega Mug. My mug brother. Let's see. Let's do. Let's jump to Fibbage. Let's get some rapid fire games in here. Uh, for the night is fast approaching. Or the morning is fast approaching. And then we'll jump to Jackbox Party Pack 2. <laughs> why was why was mine the monkey fart scream? <laughs> Welcome.
welcome to the game. I'm Cookie, and I will be your Sherpa up this mountain of BS. Okay, a four-person game. Thanks for acknowledging my OCD and having an even number. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. Psycho was the first American movie to show a blank. Ooh, now use your device lit. to type a lie that might fool the other players into believing it. If you get stuck, forcing for another points, you can gift subscription upon an unsuspecting victim. I mean viewer. <laughs> we got a big gifter enforcer in the stream, everybody. Thank you again, Miss Lich. <laughs> Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and touch it on your device. <laughs> I got all of these are fixated on one specific scene. <laughs> Pair of pantyhose. Shower death. Toilet flushing. Woman in the shower. Toilet. <laughs> well... Alright. Pick something! I don't know. Okay, what did everyone pick? Oh, dang. Triple Bless. Good one. And nobody picked the other lies up there. <laughs> Show her. Time to pick a category. <laughs> Bombcore next. All right. Bombcore next. Okay, it is. here's the question. A study Bomb conducted at Tufts University by psychology grad student Nicholas Rule found that people have the ability to point out blank in a crowd. Type in your lies now. <laughs> Tufts University. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> the study conducted at Tufts University by psycho psychology, psychology students, so to speak. Nicholas Rule found that people have the ability to point out who farted in a crowd, point out dogs, a person in love, Mormons, butts in a crowd. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. Oh, dang. Wow, Mormon. Okay, what is the code? Oh, you can't see the code, can you? These ingenious lies. Give me a second. Select the category. Ooh, Abyssal Lich. Okay, Thank you for question. gifting another gift sub to another unsuspecting victim. I mean, viewer. In Spain, in the be stream. sure to check out the annual festival <laughs> where participants pelt each other with muddy rags full of blank. Enter your lies now. Let's see. So the code should be VLXU. I was too late to join in on this one. Yeah, the code should be VLXU. Try it. Hurry up. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Perhaps okay, it'll here work. Are your choices. Yeah. 
Hmm. Tomatoes. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> I get in there. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Squash tomatoes. Ah, oh, damn it. Too many players. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one is like. Uh -uh. A small amount. Some of the games. Lots of players. So I'll leave Americans you with this. All right, Abyssalich. And the rest of the board goes unselected. You take care. You have a great rest of your night. You get some sleep. I know I will be in a little bit. I'm gonna try. Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you, Abyssalich, yet again. Uh, the big bitcher oh, king okay, strikes again. In 1988, George H. W. Bush celebrated Halloween by dressing up as. Thank you, Abyssalis. I appreciate it. Type in your lives now. <laughs> Thank you for the forced gift uh, uh, subscriptions and the 100 bitch years, of which you did multiple of. I really appreciate it. They're going to go. Uh. uh they will go towards the new goal, which I'll be announcing hopefully soon. <laughs> so hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think uh, uh, you okay, get some rest. Which one's the truth? And I'll catch you on the stream. Uh Tuesday for Loop Hero and I'll catch you for uh, Justice League the Snyder Cut. I'm so freaking ex excited. I can't wait to watch it. A sexy nurse, Madonna himself, an angry bear, or a ghost. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. Ooh. Angry bear. No! Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> himself? <laughs> mug Lord, my mug brother. Thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> All right, pick a category. Oh no. Well, we ain't waiting forever. Okay, Gargoyle it is. <laughs> On the northwest tower of the Washington National Cathedral, Thank you, mug Lord. there is a gargoyle I appreciate it. made to resemble blank. Enter your lies now. Entering lie. <laughs> I'll try to get you in on the next game. Alright, where's the truth? <laughs> Darth Vader, Marilyn Monroe. Jesus Christ. Ross Parrot, an angry midget. <laughs> All right, who picked Interesting. Watch? Oh no. Dang. Lots of suckers on that one. Hello, TV. You got us good. <laughs> but I got you back. <laughs> well, you guys blew it. Really? Damn it. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. I wanted to go with that one so bad. <laughs> Jesus. My score. <laughs> Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2009, a Russian man shocked the medical world when it was discovered he had a five centimeter long blank growing in his lung. Type <laughs> in your lies now. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> Leech, dog, tree branch, fingernail, fetus. <laughs> Whoa, damn. Those votes were casted really quick. It's only five centimeters. Everybody picked. Ooh, good lie. Oh no. No. They got me. Luckily, he wasn't a smoker, or he might have caused a tiny forest fire. Now, and how did done. that... Oh, well. <laughs> Not enough for me to make a comeback, but... Technically, I'm still in the game. Uh-oh. It's time for the final fibbage. This one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Triple points. Okay, here Let's is go. your final fibbage question. Product name of the gas neutralizer pad that you insert into your underwear made by the Solutions That Stick company. Enter your lies now. <laughs> yeah. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Coming down to the wire. Okay, which one's the truth? Stink again, Farto, Fart Truly, Smellatron 2000, Subtle Butt. <laughs> God. Okay, let's take a look. Which one is it? No! Damn. <laughs> With a name like that. Yeah, I got someone. Subtle button. And that means some of Damn. these didn't get picked. Final scores. Congratulations. Indeed. GG. Okay. So. Um. We're going to do, what was it? Bomb core? Bomb crew? Which jackbox is, um, bomb core? Or the bomb one? Do you have seven? I don't have seven. I have one through six. Unfortunately, don't have seven. Party pack two. All right. Let me take it to a quick intermission. Do the scary trivia one. Okay, scary trivia one after bomb. The bomb one. <laughs> okay. So, everyone enjoyed intermission. Give me like a quick 30 seconds and then we'll get the game started up. <laughs> 